have to pick one, I would say Instagram. Hi everyone, we have Fushba today with us. Uh, Fushba, Hi. how are you? I'm doing good, thank you. Do you want to tell us what you do? Yes, I had social and PR for a retail brand, Red Tag. Okay. I manage the social media and PR. And do you want to tell us a bit about Red Tag? What do they do? Red Tag is a retail brand. It offers anything to do with home and fashion accessories and apparel, everything. We are quite big in KSA and other parts of GCC. Okay. And as a retail, like fashion brand, mm -hmm. how do you differentiate yourself on social media? Um, because like, you know, in the region, it's full of... Cluttered, yeah. yeah. And so we do a lot of UTC, mm. user-generated content. We push, we have trendy Tuesdays and Wow Wednesdays where we are posting content that is exclusively from our followers and regular audience, not just campaign posts. So those are the differentiators. And how do you manage to get this? So people actually content. tag them. Mm. So they tag them, so we make sure the best one out of those. Mm. And mainly they're all very good any which way. So we we post them, repost them, and the engagement rate on them, because that's the real audience, right? They're all not those uh, mm. skinny girls out there. and They are the real self. Mm. The, They're actual customers. Basically. Exactly. Okay. That's what we push. And that also what it does is, uh, gets us more UGC, more people mm -hmm. send us the creatives and more people send us their pictures. This is my baby's picture, this is my picture, can you post it on mm -hmm. social? That just uh, helps in creating the community on social. Okay. And aside from UGCs, like, is there a campaign that you are really proud of that you've worked on? For yeah, there are many, but uh, this Ramadan we did, we got about 35 influencers on board and mm. we got... Uh, creative content out of them, not just regular content. We did what uh, some DIYs with them, mm. which was what will you do this Ramadan sort of 30 campaigns, which I am, and it uh, it met all the KPIs and it beat all the KPIs that we had set for it. So yeah, that's one of my favorite campaigns. So you're for working with influencers? Yes, absolutely. Always. Like on an ongoing basis or? Ongoing basis. We, okay. we uh, pouch. Well, mm -hmm. it's a campaign. Yeah, it does really well for us. Okay. I think Red Tag had a big like brand ambassador as well. Yes, we do. Is it still going? It's still going on. I had brand ambassador mm -hmm. initiatives for Red Tag. So they're, they are not only brand ambassadors or influencers. They are our platinum customers. So mm -hmm. How it started was we will delight our platinum customers by offering them a gift or some sort of, you know, make them feel special mm -hmm. in some way or the other. And it uh, it's it's been an on upwards and onwards journey since then. We have been growing our brand ambassadors every year, yeah. and uh, we still have it. Yes, it does work How well as for us. Okay, and what's the best like type of content that works for fashion brands in general? Just not uh, not just red type. I would say competitions work really well for us, yeah. and anything to do with how to content per se, like how to style an outfit, how to how to style an outfit within budget. Mm. So those sort of content. Basically. So like the how to style. So you feel like what fashion brands really have to offer on social media is educative content. Absolutely. That is that is the key to go forward. For an, for an example, TikTok mm. is now emerging as an SSE platform. That social search engine. People, yeah. You'll hear people saying that, you know, rather than Googling it, just TikTok, TikTok it. Because the 15 seconds video and gives you everything. So how to content is. And you have the TikTok made me buy it as well. Yes, absolutely. That is also there. So yeah, TikTok uh, doing wonders in this site. So I think this is something we should know. Speaking of TikTok, like what do you think is the best social media platform for any fashion brand and why? Okay. If I have to pick one. I, if I have to pick one, I would say Instagram because it's very inspirational mm -hmm. and it's, uh, I've been using it for way longer than I am TikTok, but as I mentioned, TikTok is emerging into many other segments. Like now they have started shop online sector as well. So TikTok is there. It's getting there. But for me, it's Instagram. Instagram. 
Yeah. Uh, and how do you think, how do you feel like AI is changing the way you work in social and marketing? AI has actually made a social media manager or a PR manager's life so much easier, which is so convenient in terms of uh, writing captions, UGC content, and creating videos from Write Sonic to Fleeky. These all AI, like I use copy AI a lot. Mm. So it just makes things convenient, quicker, and so that a social media manager or a PR person can actually focus on things like creating the bigger strategies. And and so AI is changing every day. It's coming up with something different. So it's gonna just. And where do you see AI going? Like, how do you think it's gonna help us in the future? It's gonna make a diff. It still is already making a difference, but I still feel that uh, human intervention is still gonna be around. It's mm. gonna be there. But AI is going to take us places in terms of video generation. I think one of the, I was reading an article the other day that there is an Instagram page that is fully, it's sort of videos and only AI generated content and it has millions of followers. Mm. So it's just going places. Did you try pushing like, uh, like creating any visuals for Red Tag with AI? We haven't yet, but mm. we are in next financial year, we will do so. Okay, okay. And back to TikTok, what do you think is the funniest trend that you've seen recently? Um, I really like that, uh, the towel one, where two people are holding the towel and they have to get out of the towel. They have to separate the two towels. Okay. So that's, that's quite funny, how people end up getting entangled even further mm -hmm. in the process. Okay. That's Did you, do you hop on trends for that tag as well? Or? We do so, yeah. We follow a lot of trends mm -hmm. wherever we can. And how does that work? Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> that, that's the tricky part. Yes. And how does it work? How does it perform? Always a, the for trends, it's the time yeah. that is very important. In the sense, if a trend is trending right now, you can't expect us to be creating a content after one week. So you yeah. have to hop on mm. immediately for it to be on point. So we do that where, wherever we can, and it's it has got great engagement for us always whenever we can. Yeah, logistically, sometimes it's hard. Yes, it is. Yeah, but like once you pull it off and it works, you're like, okay, it was worth it. Yeah. Yeah. You just have to have the right people, right timing, right lighting, everything. Yes. Yeah. And then it yeah. can do wonders. Cool. I think this was the last question for today. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Bye, everyone.